Okay, so today we're doing another static test. We're doing circumferential measurements. There's six key areas that we're going to do. Uh, upper arm, forearm, waist, hip, and then thigh and lower leg. Okay, so we're going to work away from the top and down. So first of all, if uh, you make sure your client just has the arm just by the side of the body, nice and relaxed. And we're going to sort of go for the, the midway point between the, the shoulder and the elbow. Okay, so we'll take the measure around. It should be sort of about the widest area of the upper arm as well. Okay, then we're going to take it down to the forearm. And again, sort of midway point now, but between the elbow and the wrist. And same again, just take the measure around the widest part whilst the client keeps the arm nice and relaxed. So we're going to make a note of these two measurements first. So now we're going to move on to the waist and hip. Okay, so this time, Jess, if I'm just going to pass you this. Now this goes across the, uh, the umbilicus or belly button region. Okay, and then we take it down now to sort of the, the widest area of the, uh, of the hip. Okay, that's great. So that's those two measurements taken, which we'll make a note of now. And then the, the final two are in the, the lower body, the thigh, and then the, the lower leg. So we're going to go for the thigh first of all. So this is going to be sort of midway between the groin and the knee. Okay, and then taking it down now to the lower leg, the widest part, which again should, should, should be sort of halfway between the, the knee and the ankle. And then we'll make a note of those two measurements now. So, uh, WAPA trainers uh, normally measure, uh, take these measurements every six to eight weeks uh, just to make sure that their clients are on track. Uh, 